How to practice French kissing. It's natural to be nervous about French kissing someone, especially if you haven't done it before. You don't have to worry, though, because while it may seem complicated, it's actually quite simple and comes naturally. A French kiss involves touching your partner's tongue with your own in a long, deep kiss. Whether you're new to the concept of French kissing or simply want to master the technique, there are several ways to practice this romantic kiss by yourself at home. Learning the technique. Tilt your head slightly to one side. This prevents your nose from bumping into that of your partner's while French kissing. Even if you aren't practicing with a person, you should still get into the habit of tilting your head slightly. If you decide to learn to French kiss with another person, you should be direct and let them know that you want to kiss them for practice, not necessarily because you have feelings for them. You can practice French kissing with your hand, a piece of fruit, or even your imagination. If you're using your hand, curl it loosely to form the letter O, which represents your partner's lips and mouth. If you're using fruit, bite into a ripe, firm fruit such as a peach or plum to create a small hole that resembles a person's mouth. Close your eyes and slowly move your lips toward your partner. Closing your eyes allows you to focus on the physical sensation of the French kiss. Lean in toward your partner, bringing your lips close to theirs. Alternatively, bring your lips close to the piece of fruit or your hand. You should only be an inch centimeters, or so away. Press your mouth softly against your partner's. You want to start with a soft kiss and test the waters before moving on to a French kiss. Use light pressure and keep your mouth slightly parted. Avoid opening your mouth too wide, which can alarm your partner and result in a wet, sloppy kiss. Your lips should fit into theirs, your top lip can either be above their top lip or in between their lips. Your bottom lip, then, would rest in between their lips or below their bottom lip. If you're practicing alone, fit your lips gently to your hand or to the piece of fruit. Touch your partner's lips gently with your tongue. This slow movement allows you to gauge whether your partner is ready to French kiss, and prevents them from being alarmed or surprised at any sudden tongue thrust movements. After kissing them softly on the mouth, slowly stick your tongue out until it meets their lips, it can be the top lip, bottom lip, or both. If you are kissing someone for real and they open their mouth too, move ahead with the French kiss. When practicing by yourself, use light pressure to touch your hand or the piece of fruit with your tongue. Slide your tongue into their mouth a little bit. The next step is to move your tongue into their mouth slowly and gently. You can put your tongue above or under their tongue, or even move it around a little. Keep it slow and playful. Also, don't go too deep, you only need to put a little bit of your tongue in their mouth. To keep your teeth from clacking together, keep your head tilted slightly to one side and use your lips to shield your teeth. If you're practicing with a piece of fruit of your hand, gently stroke the object with your tongue. Touch your tongue against theirs using slow, gradual movements. These movements may include touching, stroking, curling, and sweeping. When kissing a responsive partner in real life, your kisses will naturally build in intensity, pressure, and length. The key to practicing French kissing is to start slowly, and fall into a natural kissing rhythm with your partner based on their physical responses to your kiss. Less is more when it comes to tongue, so don't be too aggressive. However, don't keep your tongue completely still either, which could be awkward. When practicing alone, experiment with different ways to move your tongue against your hand or the piece of fruit until you find a pattern or method that feels natural.